Okay, let's kick off our Rome trip, saying we just had breakfast. It was a very good day. So far, we've been out for about 10 minutes, and every street is adorable and cute, and we want to explore all the shops. This is our first fountain of the trip. It's got uh, hieroglyphics on it. We me a lot of selfies. Yeah. Free water, I guess. And this fountain looks like bathtubs. Kelly, I think you need a photo in front of the bathtub next to the Jaguar. Show me a, like, a, a washing. Yeah, bathtubbing. This is uh, Plaza de Pasquino. Pasquino de Piazza. Bolo con zio. This is the uh, statue of Pasquino. It has always been used as a place where you post your angry issues with the government. So it's literally worn down by like people frustrated with the government. After wandering around really old neighborhoods, we turned a corner and came upon a building that has stood for nearly 2,000 years. Shall we go to the Pantheon? The doors of the Pantheon are closed. It's Christmas Day. They will be open tomorrow. Let's see if we can peek inside. There's a little dome. We'll do it tomorrow, okay? Okay. So Marcus Aurelius used to be on top of that, and then they changed it to Paul. Good job, Paul. A few blocks later, we reached the Trevi Fountain. I wish we will return to- You're not the Oh, okay. Well, at least I have is the synagogue. We got old thing over here, old thing over here. Everything is cobblestone. There's no box. There's an ancient box. A Roman box. If there's anybody that set a precedent for how to build boxes, it was the Romans. We're in line to look at a hole. I, I couldn't get um, the, the dome. Kelly and I both agree that the first day of Rome was the most walking we have ever done in one single day for any of our vacations. We started bright and early at our hotel and walked all around the ancient city of Rome until the late evening. We were excited with all the history around us and we were definitely ready for the next days to come. <laughs> 